on, guys. As, as I sit here thinking about the current product of the World Wrestling Entertainment, I look back throughout the last couple of weeks. The product is dead. The product is dead. I mean, there's nothing going for it right now, people. There's nothing going on. So ever since the Superstar Shake-Up, that was supposed to help things out. But all it did was make things worse. In my opinion. Now, I may be wrong, but there's going to be some idiots on the internet going to be like, Roman Reigns! Oh my god! It's so fucking awesome! Mm. This is how I think of Roman Reigns. <laughs> I do drugs. <laughs> really? Really? And there's a rumor going around that he's going to be the next Intercontinental Champion. He did such a great job with the U.S. title. Let's give him a fucking other title. <laughs> People, this, this whole thing just... Reeks of fucking stupidity. Oops, I said the F word. Ooh, fuck you, YouTube, you fucking bitch. Anyway, problems with WWE. Uh, well, let's start with Monday Night Raw. They can't fucking get a decent show, right? Their fucking writing staff is a fucking abysmal thing to be a part of. Everybody on that fucking staff from Kevin Dunn to fucking I don't even know who else is on that writing team, but Lord knows they fucking blow because they can't write a fucking show to save their fucking lives. Oh my god. When is Vince McMahon gonna realize this and kick Sabretooth himself from the fucking team? It's not gonna happen though, because once Hunter Triple H, if you you idiots don't know um, as soon as Hunter takes over, Raw is going to be better than it ever has been. I'm looking forward to it. But until Hunter takes over, we got to do this to Monday Night Raw, bro. Raw gave me AIDS. Raw gave me syphilis. Raw gave me fucking nauseation. I don't fucking know the words, bro. But, um, fuck. But, yes, people. Monday Night Raw fucking blows. SmackDown has not done that much better in recent weeks. This is why the, the 